Hello guys, uh, this is my first YouTube video. Um, hope, hopefully this will uh, help you save some money uh, when you have a Mazda 2.2 liter diesel, CX-5, Mazda 6, and what other Mazdas you might have that has the 2.2 liter uh, diesel. Uh, mine is a 2014 and um, I just got it recently. I'm very happy with it until uh, the dashboard lit up like a Christmas tree with all kinds of warning lights. So I did a lot of research <clears throat> and found out that there's a couple of things you can do to uh, save yourself a bunch of money and headaches when you get uh, warning lights. And I'll tell you in a little bit about it. Uh, what you want to do is you want to take the cover off. It snaps in place. I already had it removed. And then after that, there's a small shield here that you know sits in place uh, right here back here you take that out and the two sensors that uh, will light up your Mazda 2.2 diesel um, dashboard warning lights will be this sensor here the DPF uh, pressure sensor and a sensor right here that looks like this it's called the exhaust pressure sensor this one here this little thing will absolutely light up your your dashboard with different codes so if the it's centrally located right here like i said it goes into this tube that's here rubber tube and it has a connector right here if this one little this little thing fails you will get codes p 0471, P0473, P2262, P2263, etc. etc. Um, you will get SCBS warning light, you will get engine check light, you will have uh, no turbo, you will also have uh, problems with your automatic transmission, and you will also get the tire, tire pressure monitoring system light up. <clears throat> and it's all due to this one sensor here pretty much so to remedy this thing you need to get this upgrade for the exhaust pressure sensor and this is uh, this has been upgraded by Mazda from my research now three or four times I just picked one up and I'm looking to looking forward to installing this and if you can see the difference, that's the latest version of the exhaust pressure sensor. And this is the old version. This has already been replaced, I believe, and I think uh, three or four times has <clears throat> there been a recall or an upgrade on this. So, one more time. Sorry about that. This is the part number you need for the exhaust pressure sensor. And then the DPF pressure sensor looks like this, which is right here. These are readily available in most of the aftermarket car parts stores. So this one is easily to, easy, easy to find and rather affordable. This one is, uh, as far as I know, it's a dealer item. And it's about uh, less than 200 200 euros of 200 dollars so that's a lot of savings there instead of doing a lot of diagnostics and stuff like that so i will get to work and i will let you know how everything went 